Globally, fish provides about 3 billion people with almost 20% of their intake of animal protein. That's according to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. Fish, considered the most consumed source of animal protein, contributes at least 5.4% of Nigeria's gross domestic product, GDP. Global consumption of fish continues to rise at increasingly unsustainable levels, including in Nigeria. The country needs no less than 2.66 million metric tons of fish annually to satisfy domestic consumption. In the past, this resulted in a huge amount of fish being imported because local capture fishers and aquaculture farmers couldn't meet that demand. So how are we dealing with the problem? Amongst other things, the government banned the importation of frozen foods, including fish, in a bid to promote local fish production through the aquaculture value chain, amongst other support incentives for both capture fishing and aquaculture fish production. The deficit might be shrinking, but there's still more work to be done. In the meantime, the Bank of Industry, fully aware of this shortfall, staged an intervention in the fishing industry under the Bank of Industry Federal Government's MSME Fund. Under this scheme, several fish farmers received funding to boost their contribution to the fish value chain. In this edition, we'll bring you the story of a woman amongst many in the fish value chain who simply grew from a struggling fish farmer to a thriving smoked catfish processor who's now looking to exporting processed fish, many thanks to the Bank of Industry. I am Kaya De Alayade. Welcome to BOI Weekly. In the agricultural sector, due to limited processing and preservation capacity, this results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund. There are five levels in the aquaculture value chain. The hatchery, the grow-out, the processing, the milling, and the marketing. We visited one of the many who have benefited from the government intervention in the agro-processing sector of the fishing industry. One of them is Alahaja M.K. Ogunlola, a smoked catfish processor. She welcomed us to her farm in Ejigoisolo, Lagos. This is Yukawan Farm. Yukawan? Yukawan Farm. That's my business name. Okay. Yukawan. Yukawan Farm. farm. Yes, you are okay. welcome. Thank you very Thank much. You. Although here, she runs a fish farm on a subsistence level. Her focus is smoked catfish processing. She shows us how she manages her livestock before they are eventually processed. Here in this farm, she can only keep an average of 2,000 fishes, a number far below her market's demand. So she depends heavily on major catfish grow out farmers in the value chain. That's this it. is the nursery. Okay. Hatchery, Although uh, they are nursery. semi, uh, uh, they are not functioning because I cannot cope. Okay. Doing all together. Okay. So I suspend the hatchery aspects. Okay. But I have fish in the pond okay. for the grow out okay. because I buy from colleagues okay. to nurse okay. to table size okay. to give me what I start with, with in processing. I do buy fingerlings from colleagues that do hash, okay. and this is my fish. 
All this one is just a, a month old. It's about four weeks. Oh. In another, in another six or oh, barely seven weeks now, I start using this. Oh, they're a month old. Exactly, a month old. Oh. Just four weeks. How many of them are here? I have 2,000 spread all over. You cannot put 2,000 in a pond. Okay. They will eat themselves. It will congest them. It's oh. overstocking. You have to spread them out to let them come out, grow equally. And we do salt periodically. Every two, two weeks, we salt. Remove the one that is not growing well and the one that grows well, put them together and separate them so that they will not eat themselves. By estimate, like how many, how many of them are in this particular uh, compartment? This place now, I have about 350. I put another set here. We have fish here. We have here. Like how many are here? The, these ones are the, the, one, the adults. Okay. Mm, it, they are not much. Okay. They are about 180. It's not up to 200. Because okay. they, they don't grow equally. Okay. Mm. Exactly, I have here too. These ones are coming up. Like In another three weeks, I will use this one in my processing. Like, how old are these ones? They are the same age with those ones. But they are not the same size? They are not the same size. Okay. Because it's like fingers, okay. which is not equal. equal. If you are giving <laughs> them food, some will pick and okay. grow faster than others. Some so are we do, uh, Yeah, so we do separate them okay. so that they can eat well and come up. And that's the joy of a farmer. How do you sort them? You bring them out, Hold on. remove that pipe, Okay. The water will drain out, okay. so the fish will remain. Then we pack with nets, we have nets, packing nets. We use it to pack all the fish out, then separate. Into a basin. Yes, into a basin. We have about four basins put down. We separate the small ones, the medium, the big ones, separate them like that and put them in different ponds so that classified. they can eat exactly. Uh, are there sicknesses associated with um, fish uh, being raised in, in this in this way? They do sick, and that is uh, water management. If you are careless, if you don't change water at adequate time, they will get sick. They will attack themselves. If the water is dead, if you are not seeing them like this, anything can happen. They will eat themselves. They will use the, the coverage of uh, dirty water to do havoc to themselves. And if you are not eat, feeding them adequately, you cannot get good results. You have to change every other day to make the water clean and feed them how adequately. Often, how often do you feed them? Three times a day, when they are like this. Three times, you feed them in the morning, in the afternoon, and the evening. If you want good results, best results, you have to spread out, sort, and remove the tiny, tiny ones, the ones that are not growing, the lazy ones that cannot pick on time. You spread them so that they can come up. Mm -hmm.